So we're going to start out with a prophecy update, the end of last month and then coming till today. It's just basically news headlines that could have prophetic significance in the Bible. We're going to start with May 28, 2016. Hezbollah is preparing for its next conflict with Israel by digging terror attack tunnels, tracking IDF movement, that's Israeli Defense Forces, and positioning its large arsenal of rockets along the northern border with Israel. May 31st, a parasitic flesh-eating disease is reportedly breaking out through the Middle East, with the Islamic State, that's ISIS, terror group contributing to the problem. It's almost like these movies you see, on the zombies, you know. June 7th, North Korea has restarted production of plutonium fuel, showing that it plans to pursue its nuclear weapons program in defiance of international sanctions. Now on the same date, there's another headline. The Gaza Strip may still lie in rubble, but Hamas operatives are convinced that they are ready for another battle. Same day. Word is going around in diplomatic circles that Ob the Obama administration is planning a November surprise for Israel by not vetoing a resolution very harmful to Israel's security. President Barack Hussein Obama will not worry about how this might affect Hillary Clinton election prospects because the UN resolution will come after the November election. And that's how the Obama administration will wrap up with an unprecedented UN vote against Israel and the United States. And Israel will be powerless to stop it. I guess our administration does not remember what God promised to do and has done many times to nations that come against Israel. June 9th. Last week, the CDC, that's the Center of Disease Control, issued a report on a growing number of deaths from drug and alcohol abuse and disease relating to those addictions and to suicide. June 12th, over 100 people shot with 50 dead after a shooting at a gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida. The gunman, 29-year-old Omar Mateen, called 911 and pledged allegiance to ISIS mentioning the Boston Marathon bombers during the call. June 14th, a convicted French terrorist who pledged allegiance to ISIS fatally stabbed an off-duty police officer and the cop's girlfriend and live-streamed him, live -streamed himself on Facebook while barricaded in their home. So he was so proud of himself he thought he'd let you guys watch it on YouTube. What a nut. June 16th, if we must depend only on police and other government agencies to defend us, then almost everything and everyone will be a soft target. June 17th. More and more reports are coming out that Jesus is personally leading thousands, if not millions of Muslims into the Christian fold, appearing, them, appearing in their dreams as the man in white. Is that awesome or what? You know, some people ask that question. Well, what if there's some remote island where someone can't get them the gospel? Are they going to be saved? Well, this shows you. Jesus himself is appearing to these Muslims in their dreams and leading them to the Lord. So they don't even, even if we don't come out here, he'll find a way to uh, reach you with that message. Amen? On the same day, there's another headline, another article that says, The real reason Satan is raging against Christians from the Charisma News. I, this man writes an article, he says, I believe Satan is intensifying his actions against Christians because he senses that time is growing short. He is desperate, desperate to do as much damage as he can, to cause as much suffering as he can, and to take as many souls with him as he can. So we don't want to be one of those souls. That's why we're out here warning people. June 24th. Global stock markets lost about $2 trillion in value after Britain voted to leave the European Union while Sterling suffered a record one-day plunge to a 31-year low and money poured into safe haven gold and government bonds. Uh, I didn't want to get too deep into this, but there are some scholars that believe that this fits some prophecies that are actually in the Bible. I didn't want to go into all of that right now. That could be a whole other thing. But supposedly, Britain breaking off from the European Union could have prophetic significance in the Bible. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about that maybe another day. Okay, same day, June 24th, an ISIS-inspired group called the I Islamic State Wolves are calling for more attacks like the Orlando, Florida one, with, even with suggestions on ways to murder infidels or non-Muslims, non-believers, telling you different ways you can kill them. 
Okay, also on June 24th, Reuters reports, Russia must boost its combat readiness in response to NATO's aggressive actions near Russia's borders, President Vladimir Putin said on Wednesday. On that same day, we got one more headline, Orlando will be repeated and no place is safe, said a former ISIS captive when they warned Congress. So that our, concludes our prophecy update. And keep watching the news and keep reading your Bible and you'll see how things are fitting together. And I think Jesus is going to come soon. So we, wanna, we don't want to be caught asleep. We want to keep watch. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>